Hi there, this is Josh from Holstery. I've got a lot of questions about how I sew through Kydex uh, for our Mark II smartphone holster. And uh, so I thought I'd make this video today to show you the technique that I use using my CNC router uh, instead of a hand awl or any of the other various tools that are common in the leather industry uh, to make a really, really nice hand stitch in Kydex and leather. So here's an example from our Mark II holster for OtterBox Defender, and you can see if I get close to the seam there, you can see really, really nice even stitch length. I used bonded waxed nylon thread. Uh, if I flip it over, you can see same thing on the back of the holster. Very even, nice looking seam. Okay, here we are looking at a case, one of the, the Mark II cases for, this one's for the Apple leather case and you can see that it's already been trimmed so I have a nice even reveal around the around the case but now it's time to put stitch holes in it so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my laptop and set the uh, the router to the current offset here it comes and I've gone ahead and taken the uh, the dust boot off which I normally run so that you can easily see the holes being made Turn the router on. Turn the volume down will help. Let's go ahead and fast forward through the early stages of this. You can see as it's cutting, it's cutting really even holes quite quickly. Uh, there's no way I could do this by hand as well as the router's doing. The machine cuts cleanly through both leather and kydex. I use a nice sharp 16th inch end mill in this case. And here it is. After it's come off the router, uh, I've, go ahead, I've taken it off the tool and you can see the holes a little bit more detail there. Nice and clean cut. And uh, on the back side, no real burrs to speak of. This is smooth and ready for sewing.